Hi my lipstick ninjas! Welcome back to Chai Time with Misha. I feel like it's been forever since I've said that. I decided to switch things up and change the format of my videos for the last few videos and then I kind of missed talking to you guys and a couple of you even said that you miss my kind of talk through format. So I decided to do that for this particular video. I think one of the reasons is because I am so, so, so excited to share today's review with you guys. Presenting the new Lorac Pro Liquid Lipsticks. Of course I want to give you guys a detailed review, but Spoiler alert, I love these. I love most of the colors that I've tried. As you will see in this video, I got, I think, all of the colors. Yes, all of the colors except one. So let's get into the demo and the swatches, and then I'm going to come back and review the shades for you guys. Bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire.
ice cream while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating i'm waiting and always hesitating kryptonite desires set my heart afire all right so those were all the shades aren't they beautiful oh my gosh so first of all i want to name my favorites sienna dusty rose plum brown like those are the all-star mvps of this collection so i would categorize them as gotta love it cold stone reference and then i do really like rich burgundy and mulberry you know second on the level so gotta like it i think for me the troublemakers were black cherry nude rose for anybody, the troublemakers are going to be Black Cherry, Nude Rose, the red one. They're tough colors to work with. We're, we're talking about a nude here. We're talking about a really rich, vibrant red. And then Black Cherry too. It is nearly black. It's a blackened, purpley, wine, eggplant, aubergine shade. I love this shade and I think compared to other really dark, dark, almost black lipsticks out there, this one applied fairly well. Can you guys tell how much I love these Lorac liquid lipsticks? I really, really hope they come out with more shades. Some really cool shades like maybe a grayish or a taupe. Already I feel like they have some really nice staples. Sienna has to be my favorite. I don't feel like I have any terracotta medium warm tone brown quite like it. Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton, Jeffree Star's Leo, Joseph Colors Corp. Kylie Cosmetics Ginger, Kylie Cosmetics Pumpkin, <laughs> Brown Sugar. All those shades come to mind when you see Sienna, but I still feel like Sienna is different. I really do feel like something about Sienna, it's so rusty, so beautiful. I just, I love it. The formula is really light, thin. It's not very creamy, but it's not very watery either. I feel like it's leaning more towards the watery side. What I would recommend before applying them is to shake your tube. You'll notice that separation and it, it looks really like yucky. Like there's this like little film that collects on top like a liquidy clear film. So when I first started noticing that I got a little worried. I was like oh my god I just got them and I've only worn them here and there. I don't know why that's happening. I think it just has to do with their thinner formula. It kind of happens to nail polishes as well right? So just shake shake shake. Yeah. I saw a thread of comments the other day on a Lorac post on Instagram and someone said, well, if you can't find me Anastasia's Ashton, 
you can get me the Slow Rock instead. Or if you can't find me the Anastasia ones, get me the Slow Rock instead. And I was compelled to intervene and say, no, 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 no. Trust me, you want to try these Lorac ones. Don't get me wrong, I like the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, but these are much, much, much more comfortable. I can layer them on three times. Not that you need to do that with these, but they still feel comfortable. They don't feel heavy and drying and like they're just sucking the life out of your lips or weighing your lips down or really constricting. You know like that tightening feeling and you're just feeling like, oh, I gotta remove this or I'm gonna like need fillers or like Botox or something to correct the situation. No. These are comfortable, they're on the thinner side, you can layer them a couple times if you want to, and they have a good, fairly good staying power. Now if you're going to eat something oily or really greasy, yes, it's going to fade away in the center portion of your lips, that's inevitable. Honestly, when you're wearing a shade like Rich Burgundy or Black Cherry or Berry Red, you don't want to keep that on while eating. Trust Trust me, it is going to get everywhere just because of the way the color is. It's so pigmented and so rich. It's just, it's going to be messy and I'm telling you this from experience. The staying power is fairly, fairly nice. They don't crumble, they don't crack, they don't break in the inner corner like just from talking. Nothing like that happens. Kind of stumped right now because I really like these. I'm, I'm trying to think. Do I need to warn you guys about anything? But no, these are amazing. There's so many products that are so hyped right now through social media. And I haven't heard much hype about these, which makes them almost more special to me. It's like I discovered them or something. So I plan to load up my Instagram feed with a lot of Lorac Pro Liquid Lipstick oriented posts because I think they're really worth the hype. They're really worth their price point. And I'm just going to reiterate myself. Thinner formula, lightweight, nicely long lasting. These are very comfortable. They are transfer proof. Beautiful color selection. Just bear in mind with the darker colors, when you're applying them, be patient. If you want to put in a second layer, wait a little bit before applying that second layer and apply the second layer with a really light hand, a dab, dab, dab motion. Don't glide it. Don't move the product with your brush. So those are my tips. Pay attention to the demo portion of Rich Burgundy. I demonstrate there especially what I do when I go in with a second layer. I think the colors that I would say to skip would be nude rose if you're someone of my skin tone and darker with more pigmented lips because nude rose did settle into the lip lines. It did exaggerate dryness if you have any on the lips. It, in my opinion, was the worst performing shade. There is nothing wrong with the formula of Visteria or Mauve. They're just not for me. I don't like purple based shades. With the Rich Burgundy and Berry Red, be careful when you're applying. Maybe use a lip liner and just have patience when you're going to re-layer the product, like add your second layer. And then Black Cherry, it's a toughie. If you really love that sort of color and you haven't found one with the right formula, give it a try. It's not that bad. When you look really up close to the lips, it looks a little uneven, but compared to other brands that have such a color, it's it's always a toughie. MAC has a really dark one called High Drama and it's retro matte and that is such a toughie to apply. I mean it's patchy upon patchy upon patchy and this is nowhere near that bad. I hope you found this review helpful. Please remember to share and like this video if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.